All right, so we have looked at some basic topics with respect to vectors, and now we're going to take that a little bit further, not much, just a little bit further, and look at some types of problems, things you might be asked to do with vectors. So first we have find a unit vector in the direction of the given vector. Now we've done this with vectors given to us in component form, and for this vector that would mean 3, negative 2. Okay, so how does this work? How does this going between this and this? This one is called, um, tell, you'll be, it will say something like, write the vector as a linear combination of the standard unit vectors, i and j. Okay, and here's how this works. I kind of skipped over this in one class, so let's go back to this. i, <coughs> excuse me, is identified as a horizontal unit vector that's positive. So the most positive, the most basic horizontal positive unit vector, just positive 1, 0. j is vertical. It's your basic vertical unit vector in the positive direction, so it's 0, 1. So for instance, if I were to talk about 2i plus 5j, that means 2 times this plus 5 times this and that would become 2, 0, and this would become 0, 5, and excuse me, that should be that. 2, 0 plus 0, 5 is 2, 5. So that's what this means, is 2, 5. It's just another way of writing it. Okay, so when we look at this one, that's how we know this is just another way of writing 3, negative 2. So let's remember how we did a unit vector in this direction, given a vector and said, find a unit vector in that direction. Well, the formula is this. You take your vector and you divide by its magnitude. So I have to find the magnitude of this vector. The magnitude of the vector, remember, is its length. So thinking distance formula or Pythagorean theorem, if it's already in component form, this is the same as the difference between the x's. So it's just that squared. It's kind of like the side of a triangle in Pythagorean theorem. It's one of the legs. The other component is the other leg, so plus negative 2 squared. So this is 9 plus 4, which is square root of 13. All right, so if I want to write this as a unit vector, given, excuse me, as a unit vector, or give you the unit vector that is in this direction, I take this and I divide it by this. So in other words, I'm just writing same components over square root of 13. The only thing is we're not allowed to leave radicals in the denominator like that, so we have to rationalize. So that means multiplying on top and bottom by square root of 13, which gives me this and this. Okay? You could always check to see if that's really a unit vector. How could we check? Well, we could find the magnitude of it. So the magnitude of this magnitude of this vector, we don't really usually write it this way, but that's one way we could write it, is Pythagorean theorem or distance formula. You take the horizontal component squared plus vertical component squared. This is just checking. So this would be 9 times 13 over 13 squared plus negative 2 times negative 2 is 4 times 13 over 13 squared. If I have 9 of something and 4 more of that thing, then I have 13 of them. So in other words, 9 13s plus 4 13s is 13 13s. So I have 13 13s, 13 squared over 13 squared. Anything over itself is just 1. So yes. This is a unit vector, and it's in the direction of this vector. So that's how I would do a problem like that.